This is my uh, allotment block for the 10th of uh, May 2017. Uh, I've got a week off, not been that well this week actually, uh, but um, really plodded on. It's been a gorgeous day today. See with the sky there, the cloud in the sky, absolutely beautiful. Shame it hadn't been like this all week. It was freezing yesterday. So, doing really, so I'm still picking them, doing really, really well. Still got loads as soon as I uh, pick them. <laughs> Seems to run out. Uh, leaks are coming on now. It helped to be having a good watering these last few days. So they're doing well. Um, so at fruit bushes, I'll not do the usual walk around the whole plot. So I'm digging that this week. Still got that to dig. Uh, but the project has been, since Saturday, has been this little corner. So picked, built the picnic bench. With a little bit of help from a few friends because it was impossible 65 quid from being q uh, painted it yesterday uh, so it's pretty sturdy for 65 quid pretty impressed um i think i got more paint on stones it's supposed to be blue stones look like brown stones now um and then this has been what i've been working on since saturday as well after the building the bench it's a little rock pool there we had planted in um got a fountain it's actually switched off now it was working earlier maybe it's sun's hiding behind um yeah some plants there some rocks it's finished i'm quite chuffed with this to be honest um it cost me 15 quid foot liner there is a, i did have to move it around because the old up at top um but that seems to be the level what it's holding out quite happy with that, with that for 15 quid it just makes it look different doesn't it um it's not all the way to the top, who knows, I might replace it one year with but looking at being killed, 100 quid foot liners, so 15 quid, I can't grumble, it does what I want it to do, I like it, well happy, looking good, um, so side here, some lettuces still underneath that, keep it under, put some little gems in as well, the day they're coming up, doing alright underneath there, uh, quickly, if I look at the, the onions, they're doing well. Let's say I'll just do a quick walk around today because I don't normally do this. I can't remember what that plant is. Um, the rhubarb's come up, so pears, raspberries, garlic's doing good. And a few more lettuces there with the cabbages, uh, with his imperial. Still got that bit to dig there. So yeah, I need my rotavator. Still picking the purple bat sprout in at the bottom. And still got all this bit to dig. This is where my root veg is going, so I need to crack on with that. Um, but these broad beans now, they're shooting up. So I've got three rows of broad beans there. Um, today I have put these sprouts in today. Leave some special, put some netting in. Um, Netting on, should I say? Let's see, hopefully these will take. I've got another variety to put in as well. Um, somewhere else, it's been netting, rolling netting. Uh, main crop potatoes. When uh, waiting to be killed, he was down to 20, 20 pence to clearance this morning. So I've got three beans, dwarf French beans, um, some peas. Let's there, look and some other peas. I've got my own in seed at home as well, but still at that price, you ain't gonna say no, are you? Um, tree stump bottom. See, I'm not doing full walk around today. Oh, these have shut up. So there's some fruit on them now. Loads of sprouts, but even especially in today, and some fruit. So I'll shut this up in a moment. So well, now I need to weed this area. Down out. Look at these carrots. These carrots are doing well. No purple haze. They're Nance five. So that's quite. 
get some water in there tomorrow. Yeah, so potatoes here as well. Right. Yeah, so oh no, gorgeous day down here. That's me done today. Back down tomorrow.